It was, you might say, the job interview from hell. 300 hags waiting to audition, each one convinced that she or he had what it takes to be the next official witch of Wookiee Hall. I am actually the oldest one here. I'm over 400 years old. I love my children and a good cackle. And I'm a little bit naughty as well. Be careful I don't turn you into something horrible, no? You wouldn't like that, would you? And so I curse these lands. Over 2,000 people were sent applications. Those who made the short list had one minute each to spellbind the judges. I tried to scream, but I couldn't. I froze. On the panel is a veteran, Jane Brenner, the outgoing witch of Wookie Hall. We want someone that can change her character from being a nice, good witch in the summer to an evil one for Halloween, which is, of course, when we do our fright nights. And somebody that definitely loves animals and children, has got to, and can cackle. You've got to cackle. <laughs> Here's where the winner will work, in the Wookiee Hole Caves, a tourist attraction famous for an ancient witch legend. The story goes that back in the 8th century, a local old woman was accused of being a witch. And when she fled into the caves pursued by an abbot and he sprinkled her with holy water, she turned to stone. And there she is to this very day. Okay, you have to use your imagination a little. And that's why the cave owners want a live witch to work with modern tourists. The salary, up to $80,000 a year. And the winner is Carla Calamity, a local real estate agent who's now going to quit her office job to weave spells full-time. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Wookie Hole, Somerset.